think I think that Dyson Maida sort of has the inside track to start against Germany, but they're both in good form relatively for the club. So I think that Moyas is going to want to see 45 minutes from each of them. Just because I don't know how Hutch is doing. If Hutch is fully fit, I'm expecting him to go in there. But if not, I think Samuel Piet might be given the opportunity. The way the schedule sits up, because they beat Germany, uh, then, you know, all bets are off because then Germany's got to go for it against Spain. Is this the year where we see Japan maybe emerge and, and take, a, take a bit of a step forward? I don't know if they're like, you know, like final eight good but i do really like this japan squad in this group when you which two teams do you think make it to the knockout stage from group e みなさんこんにちはいつも多くのライクありがとうございますそして今回も200ライクで、え、カナダ対日本のレビュー動画をアップロードします。その動画には試合後のインタビューを、え、訳して、え、投稿します。え、今回の動画を流す前にまずは カナダ対日本のスコア予想をこのコメント欄に当ててみてください。スコア予想プラスゴールスコアラを1人書いていただいて、両方とも当たればスポーツフリークのオリジナルステッカーも当たります。え、今現在スコア予想ランキングはこの
with the quickness. Uh, I, you know, I think that they're, they definitely have what it takes to make it out of this group, make a deep run. I'm not sure, but I'm really, really liking uh, what Japan looks like right now in this tournament. Sticking with my theme with the, with the Japanese side, uh, I'm going to go with Takafusa Kubo, the midfielder there. That he's going to be a really big key for me. I think he's going to make a difference. I think he will score a couple of goals in this group. And it's going to be a matter of if Japan can capitalize on that, keep a lead, will determine whether or not this is a side that can advance out of this group. Which two teams do you think make it to the knockout stage from Group E? Yeah, it's for me, it's Spain and Japan. Like, I, I think Germany is going to struggle with an identity crisis heading into this tournament, just not knowing who's going to be the guy that's going to lead them, that's going to lead that attack. And I think Japan takes advantage of that early on. I think Japan beats Germany in that first match. They handle Costa Rica. Uh, in that in their second match and then it you know their their match against Spain is is much more of those are those are two teams that are both sitting on six points by the time that they play and and the group is pretty much decided I think that this is this is this is sitting pretty well uh, excuse me this is setting up pretty well for Japan that means Japan and and Germany play and Japan's seven to one on the money line I'll be on that uh, in the opening match they're plus 375 to win the group I think I would just rather play the money line against Germany at you know higher odds i don't hate japan to win the group at 14 to 1 just with the way the schedule sets up because they beat germany uh then you know all bets are off because then germany's got to go for it against spain their age profile is solid like they don't have any like aging stars where you're like uh oh uh, i don't love that furuhashi's not on the team striker from celtic but uh, they they clearly trust their their plan and and got through qualifying pretty easily and had good underlying numbers even though i don't really read much into it um, so I, I like japan all right bj yeah, I love Japan, obviously. え、今夜22時40分にえ、この試合が行われる予定なんですけど、こちらがえ、上にあるのがカナダ代表のえ、スターティングフォーメーションになるんですけど、え、アルフォンドデイビス、え、レフトサイドバック、バイアンミュン
、えー、スコア予想を当ててみてください今回の動画はここまでになりますが新しいコンテンツを毎日のようにアップロードしていますので、えー、チャンネル登録と通知をオンにしていただければ新しい動画を、えー、アップロードするたびに通知が届いて、えー、みんな動画を見逃すことはないです